Kenny Minchie, four-star quarterback out of uh, Tennessee, same high school as Golden Tate, has committed to Notre Dame. He visited officially over the weekend. Um, we saw him walk in uh, with Drake Bowen, and that's kind of when I knew things maybe um, – Tim Jones. Okay. Uh, um, uh, Scott, you uh, got it. I mean, fans, a fan, a fans, a fan. Thank you, Tim Jones. Uh, he thinks I'm a good looking guy. So, um, uh, uh, where was I? All right. Drake Bowen. He walked in with Drake Bowen and it's like, when, when you see someone walking in with Drake Bowen, the governor of the, uh, Notre Dame 2022 or 2023 recruiting class, excuse me. Uh, you know, things are pretty much, uh, Things are pretty much trending in the right direction, and um, and it was. And uh, we're just going to start it off with um, CFB Hertz asks over under two and a half Heisman's for Minchi. What 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 do you think there, Jamie? Let's make it four. Um, two and a half. That you know what? This is why you really just just uh, rest in peace to Bino Cook because yeah, no one was uh, no one was throwing out stuff like him like Ron Paulus went to heisman's um you know i believe he was after his first game after the northwestern uh, no it was game. prior i think i, I thought think it was, it was after he threw four touchdowns in that game and i'd have was to like, check I'm my, my, two recollection, my recollection was like signing day <laughs> like he got he was probably like i mean for those i mean obviously i was not really i mean into into recruiting then but i recall like i had sports illustrated um subscription like most other people at that time and, you know, reading the stuff on Ron Palace at that time, I'm sure there's a bunch of other older folks who were getting, you know, BGI back then subscriptions and stuff, but he was um, as hyped. Like he was supposed to be the guy before he broke his collarbone in, uh, in, in camp. And then we all know Kevin McDougal came and played great that year. Um, but he was, man, talk about a hype and, I mean, for a guy too who was like a four-year starter, um, and you know, fairly successful in terms of like numbers and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it was just gonna be imp- it was going to be impossible to live up that to that hype. No, one it did. is tough. It's tough. <clears throat> it is uh, not an easy thing when someone says you're going to win multiple Heisman trophies. But um, I, I, I'm going to take the under on uh, Minchie. It's going to be two. He's going to win two Heisman's from there. Well, I mean, I think the the, the <laughs> two. Yeah. Um, I, I think too, it, what's crazy about it is you look at now, cause there's younger guys win it now earlier than they have before. Like, you know, Manziel won it when he was a red shirt freshman, um, you know, Tebow won it, you know, in, as a sophomore, um, I, you know, Bryce Young won it, was it, won it as a sophomore, yeah. but like, I mean, Bryce Young is still Bryce Young the guys. Awesome but he's not going to win the Heisman this year. Like it's right. really hard to win it, which makes it also like, well, I mean, I guess even back in the day, like Archie Griffin's the only guy. Yeah. One, two. I think, I think what's, I guess probably the most likely scenario is the grad transfer next year wins a Heisman. Yeah. Then, then Buckner Heisman and then, then Kenny Buckner, Minchie and, and then, then Buckner straight to NFL and then Minchie Heisman and then yeah. he's straight to NFL because it was third year. That's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. Then um, Drew Pine in his final COVID year, he wins the Heisman. Yes. Back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sixth year senior Drew Pine yeah. just brings it full circle. Yeah. Uh, beats out CJ Carr, who then wins the Heisman <laughs> after that. <laughs> yeah. That's, um, so, that's, that's, yeah. so uh, but in all seriousness, right, it's uh, it's a huge pickup for Notre Dame in the recruiting class. They, they needed a quarterback. Obviously, that was a huge hole in what they were building. Um, I think it probably makes the wide receivers feel pretty good oh, um, yeah. as well as the running backs. And um, <laughs> Jay Lehman says by then, Dr. Drew Pine, I think that's probably, I mean, he's great. <laughs> he's graduating this year. So it's probably correct. So yeah. Um, yeah. Doctorate, Dr. Drew Pine. He might double grad transfer. Double grad to North surgeon, North. Pu- yes. a brain surgeon, Drew Pine. Yeah. Um, so, so that's, um, it's a huge pickup, right? It, it, it four star prospect. And, and you brought something up that I think is really smart. You brought, I think it was, um, in your six thoughts on a Thursday. And I think you brought it up on last week's pod too, is no one really knows about these quarterbacks, right? Like you take a quarterback, like there have been so many busts in the top 100 in the last, however long, right? You just aren't sure what you're going to get from quarterbacks. And, um, and so you, you want as many, you wanted many bites of the apple as you can get, right? Yeah. 
And for me, the thing about Minchie is, is it's less the ranking and more of just like when you watch him play, we put up his highlights in the last one. I recommend people go back and watch the last hit. And also when we talk about Kenny Minchie, when it was, you know, when it was learned that he was going to, um, you know, he was going to visit Notre Dame and he had, you know, decommitted from Pitt. And obviously the vibes were very good at that point. You go back and look at the, the throws that he can make and the things that he can do. And that's the thing that gets me excited. It's like very good decision maker with the ball, accurate player. Like right? he was the most accurate at the lead 11, good on the RPO game, can throw off platform um, in terms of like, he doesn't have to have his feet set, right? He can be accurate when his feet aren't completely set and he sees the opening and he can just hit the opening without having to get his whole body, you know, kind of set up to, to make the throw. And that's the thing that I'm, excited about not a great athlete in terms of like he's going to be a great runner or anything like that uh but it does have good not size a caleb williams not a ca- not a caleb williams not just caleb williams. just the slightly no. less but you compared him to mac jones who won a heisman trophy right so oh wait no did he win he, the heisman or was it Devonte smith i forget it was Devonte smith but but I he think- was a finalist yes he was a i finalist. would be totally fine if i think if, everyone if, would be fine yeah, if he, I'll be if totally he finished fine. third in the Heisman race, I think people would be. And, and Tobias Merriweather wins it. That's yeah. So many Heismans going to Notre Dame football um, players on this pod so far. Like I think we have eight, and we're only ten yeah. minutes in. That's great. But great okay, you're, let me just expand on why I said Mac Jones. Um, okay. And w- one, um, one, I think Minchie. First of all, Mac Jones is uh, a better athlete than probably people give him credit for. Like can run a little bit and he did he did run a little bit when he had to but he was a pocket guy he's a guy who won with touch and accuracy throwing the deep ball at an incredibly rate you know and obviously he was like a master rpo decision maker that's what that's what he was in that offense right and whatever time will tell with minchi if he can become that kind of decision maker and stuff like that but just in terms of touch you know you know deep deep ball accuracy some of that kind of stuff yeah. That's kind of what I see with Minchie. And then also, too, I think I'm thinking of a guy who's like a facilitator. And what's interesting because Christian, you know, spoke to him today. Mr. Christian. Yeah, Miss Miss Mr. Christian McCollum. Yes. Yes. Um, as as, uh, as Mr. Minchie called him. Um yes. he, you know, he said that Minchie talked about when he was talking about with Reese and we was talking uh, talking about uh Tommy Reese and talking about Marcus Freeman, and they were they were selling him on um, the talent he's going to play with really. Right. And kind of being in, and he was really kind of um, a humble guy kind of talking about how um, it's the other players that are going to kind of help make him great. And first of all, that is just, I love that to death. Everyone, let anyone who listened to Zach Wilson, not take blame for his horrid performance. um, You know, you want, quarterbacks you want those guys to give all the credit to everyone else and then take all the blame for when when it doesn't go right and that just it sounds like that's the kind of guy Kenny Minchie is and I think that is always important because you're going to have the locker room when when there's that and I think too is what, what I'm looking at when I'm looking at say this recruiting class I'm looking at the talent on Notre Dame's team right now and the offensive line they have and yeah. that they're going to have and the pieces are there to have an elite offense, I think, right? I think the pieces are going to be there, especially in this class that's coming in and as it grows and grows and, and, and as those guys get older. And you just need the trigger man to kind of get them the ball and just not get out of the way, but, but put these guys in a, in, a, in a position to succeed. And I think that's what I kind of see with Mitchie is he could be that guy. He has the potential to be that guy and really kind of thrive that way. And man, I, I think that's at a quarterback. That's really all you can ask for. Maybe you get the one guy who's just so exceptional, this Caleb Williams type guy who's, um, you know, he can do all that, but then he can also just like do just ridiculous athletic things and escape the pocket and do all these other kind of things in addition to that. And of course, who wouldn't want that? But how many guys are like that? There's like, how many other Caleb Williams are there in, in, in this class? Caleb Williams is like one of one. Um, there might be like, you know, Bryce Young is a, another outstanding guy at escaping the pocket or whatever, right? But even he's like a little bit different than than, than um, 
um, than Williams, right? And uh, Drake May, I would say, is extremely physically talented, but also different. But, you know, there's like five quarterbacks where their talent level is just like that high above. And like you said earlier, it's really hard to get one of those five guys. Oh, there's yeah. only five of them, right? Out of all, and that's just not like in just one recruiting class. That's five and out of four or five recruiting classes, basically, right? Mm -hmm. So you just got to get the guy who can be the person who gets the ball to your playmakers and does these things and becomes that decision maker. And I think Minchie has the potential to do that. So that's why I think Notre Dame fans should be really excited about.